Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Joy. And this video is part two of things to do in Qatar. If you didn't watch part one, I recommend you go ahead and watch it. And this video is like an update and there's new things opening every day here because if you still don't know, the FIFA World Cup 2022 is going to be held in Qatar in November. All right, let's start. One of my absolute favorite things to do in Qatar is go shooting in this place called Lusail Shooting Range. It's pretty far from the city, but it's absolutely worth it. They have indoor and outdoor shooting. They have multiple guns. I don't know the exact names. I, I'm not gonna give exact prices because things are changing like pretty quickly here. And if you don't want to go this far, also another place that opened like a few days ago, it's called Al Hadaf Shooting Range. And I think it's only indoor and they have the small like um, pistols, I guess they're called the small like uh, FBI guns type of things, which are my favorite, but it's pretty expensive. I would say I think it's going to get cheaper, well, but it just it just opened recently, so yeah. In part one, I mentioned Kids Zania, but now I'm gonna mention Kids Mondo as well, which is pr practically the same thing. It's a very fun place for kids where they can experience professions. Then I have two karaoke places, ka karao karaoke, what? Okay, two places where you can sing with your friends. Um, you have the Luna karaoke place and you have Tabi Boba, which is a place for like, um, bubble tea but they also have a room for karaoke and if you buy a specific amount of uh, drinks you can get the room for free for an hour another bar type of place where you can find alcohol it was mentioned to me on part one by my good friend Maria Khoury and I forgot to mention it in part one it's called Vertigo and it's uh, located in Banyan Tree Hotel so look it up it's pretty uh it's pretty popular right now favorite type of ice cream the little like um ice cream bubbles in a way they just opened recently like also a few days ago it's called mini melts and you should absolutely try it they have three branches i think one in al wakra one in j mall and one in al khor another really fun place to go at um it's not like, I wouldn't say it's a nightclub. It's also a more chill type of like bar. It's called Brewskies and Grub and it's located in Crown Plaza Hotel, which is around West Bay. It's kind of like a beer place mainly, but they also have food and music and sometimes like events. If you like Lebanese food, I recommend you try Aziza Lebanese restaurant. It's located in Marriott Marquis. It's also in uh, West Bay. They sometimes have events as well and like little concerts or performances. A really fun cafe to visit would be the Voot Cafe. It's located on like the Corniche. And what's special about it is that they have like, um, Tents. It's not a tent, it's like made of glass and you can kind of rent it and sit in privacy in there. I'm gonna throw random mall names that I forgot to mention in part one. We have J Mall, we have Isdan Mall and we have B Square Mall. These are more low-key like smaller malls but still if you're looking for like a, a mall to go to near your house this could be it. Another really famous place here in Qatar is the torch and I'm, I'm gonna insert a picture of it here. It's really popular because there's really like traditional things that used to happen there. I think I remember there was like horses that used to climb this um, building and light up a torch in the, on, at the top. So I guess that's why it's called the torch. But anyways, a uh, fun thing about it is that there's a restaurant on the top of this building and you can have like a really, really nice view of um, Doha. And the restaurant is called Panorama and it kind of turns while you're sitting there. So it's really slow, I'm guessing, because you're obviously you're eating and stuff, but, but it turns. So at the end of the night, you'll find yourself on another direction and you can kind of see the whole 360 of uh, what's around you. Another museum is the Arab Museum of Modern Art. I had no idea this was uh, a thing here. I'm definitely going to visit it soon. If you have a dog, there's a dog beach in Al Wakra, which I find it to be like a, it's a cool thing, you know, because not 
because there's no other place where you can kind of take your dog if you like diving there is a place called q divers uh q divers center it's pretty close to al wakra as well i think it's a pretty good place in my last video i talked about banana island but there are more islands here in qatar and i think they're kind of getting like um, more popular and so three more islands Al Alia Island, Al Safliya Island and Palm Island if you're in, on a boat I think they are pretty cool islands to visit but I would say Banana Island is more like for activities and like uh, staying the night over there I think these types of islands are just like to hang out when you're on a boat and then just go back to Doha Another thing I discovered recently, I don't know if you're gonna find this cool, but I do. It's a salt cave in uh, Royal Plaza Mall. And basically it's a spa and they kind of opened a room where it's like a salt cave. You can kind of rent the room for a, a specific amount of time to kind of like breathe, um, breathe fresh air, meditate. I don't know, you can even ask for massages inside probably. You're gonna have to call them to check about the prices and stuff, but I think it's a pretty cool thing. Speaking about spas, let me tell you um, a few spas that are pretty popular here. We have Royal Thai Lady Spa. Um, so this one is located in Al Wab. Then we have the International Chinese Body Care Houses. We have uh, Guerlain Spa in Al Fardan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. We have Orchid Spa. And that's all I've got in this list, but there's plenty of spas and I'm sure you're gonna find one around you if you're looking for like just a random spa to get your nails done or your hair or whatever. I recently saw that there is a skydiving place. It's pretty far, it's close to Al Khor um, and it's called Skydive Qatar. Next, if you wanna visit like a zoo, uh, it's called Al Dosari Zoo and Game Reserve. So I wouldn't have high expectations at zoos here and at zoos. <laughs> I wouldn't have high expectations for zoos here. I don't think a lot of animals live in the desert. Like I might be wrong, but I don't think it's the place where you're gonna find penguins and uh, and like crocodiles. I don't know. I'm, I think it's gonna be pretty basic animals but it's still a fun place to visit if you have nothing else to do next we have film city so i can included film city it's a very unique i would say like um creepy place so people call it like a creepy place it's like um a city where i think they were filming for a while and then they stopped and it's pretty old and traditional and it's really small it's located in like the middle of nowhere so if you're that type of person and you want to check it out then go ahead and by the way when i don't mention the location you can you can simply type the name on google maps and you're gonna find where it is next we have like a type of oasis in the middle of the desert and it's called al thakira mangroves forest and some people go kayaking inside this like river type of thing I, it's not a river it's more like a lake i would say i didn't know this existed in qatar so i'm probably gonna visit it soon and i'll vlog for you guys if you want to do something different i think that's something you only experience in the middle east um you can go to a camel racetrack and this one is called al shahaniya i'm guessing uh, Al Shahania Camel Racetrack. I would definitely call them before going. I mentioned Katara in my last video, and in Katara you can find like an amphitheater. In English, it's is it like amphi amphitheater? I don't know, like the old theaters. And so it's a pretty good place for like a photo shoot or just to go and hang out. There's nothing there, but. I'm guessing they do events sometimes, maybe. If you wanna experience a hot air balloon, um, you can go on this website here. It's not available all the time, it depends on the weather. So for sure during the FIFA World Cup, the weather is gonna be great and I'm sure they're gonna do something. I also mentioned the pearl in my last video, but I wanna mention more specifically Kanat Cartier and it's a pretty cool place to walk around and there's plenty of cafes on like the sidewalk. Next is ikea everybody knows ikea and i, I just want to say that we have ikea here and you can go there for lunch or you can just go to shop some items and furniture next we have purple island it's the same concept as the mangroves forest like the oasis type of thing 
and you can also do some kayaking but that's all i know about it i've seen pictures but i'm not sure how the kayaking thing happens if there's prices seasons or whatever if you like to skate there's a place called west green spine skate park in located in education city next we have a five slash six park or is it like five six five six park this is too hard anyways apparently this park is pretty cool they have like a plant maze i'm gonna insert a picture and then you can go kite surfing in al wakra beach you can look it up on google if you want to find the location also a museum i did not mention in the first part i don't know why it slipped my mind uh, the museum of illusions in west bay and then we have al thuraya planetarium it's kind of like a museum as well where you learn about planets and like cosmos and i don't know what uh, this one is located in katara and last but not least i mentioned quest in my last video but, but i just want to add that quest has world's tallest indoor roller coaster and i did not know that so i think it's pretty cool to experience the world's tallest indoor roller coaster <laughs> And that is all for this part two. I think there will be a part three because so many things are opening right now and so many things are showing up again. And it's a pretty exciting time to come to Qatar, I would say. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to talk, to talk more about the lifestyle here in Qatar, like the prices and just any questions you have like a video for you if you're coming to qatar also let me know and maybe we can meet i want to meet my subscribers and i can't wait to see how life is gonna be here in the next few months don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye